I'm going to show you why the original VHS artwork for the film Alien is far superior to the artwork on the current DVD or Blu-ray. And I'm going to start showing you now. Hello precious one and welcome to another instalment of Jason Arnop's terrifying house of obsession in which I quack about the stuff I'm into whether it's Doctor Who, horror, VHS, retro video games, writing or some other kind of nonsense. If you're new here you might want to hit subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. The 40th anniversary of the release of the film Alien felt like the ideal opportunity to score myself some YouTube views at... no no that's not right no the ideal opportunity to celebrate the enduring appeal of Alien. That's it. God, if only there was some way to edit this stuff. That's quite enough banter. Time to take a look at the covers of the UK DVD and Blu-ray of Alien, which will then compare to the UK 1982 VHS. Now, don't get me wrong, I certainly don't dislike either of these cover images. The one on the right is actually quite spectacular. But, let me show you the simplistic joy of this. There's such a basic power to this design. It's pretty minimalist and it's very focused and it's just so much better than those designs we just saw for several reasons. Obviously over the 40 years since Alien came out the monster, the visual of the monster has become an icon in cinema and I suppose you could argue that it makes sense in that case to put the alien on the cover of the Blu-ray or DVD and yet this egg is much more ominous and unsettling and powerful an image than what's actually inside it although the alien isn't inside it is it the face hug is inside it it's really quite a confusing species the xenomorph so look at the spine, look at that, nice and simple, classic, a little bit of sun fading there. Sun fading is the bane of the VHS collector's life. We're always trying to get the least sun faded sleeve possible. And of course these things often ended up sun faded because they spent so much time sitting on the shelves in video shops with sun blasting through the windows. Luckily this seems quite vivid. Only now do I realise that this looks like a weird creepy smile. Why did I never see that before? And let's have a look at the back. Quite a boring image, it has to be said. <laughs> Not the most exciting image. That's so 70s, that image. I guess it gives the impression that this is an ensemble piece, which obviously it very much is. You've got Sigourney Weaver there. You can hardly see her face. Let's have a look at the blurb. I do like a look at the blurb in these VHS videos. This chilling suspense thriller is set far away in space and time. Seven astronauts, five men and two women are returning to Earth in their battered commercial starship for some well-earned leave. In response to a distress call, which they cannot ignore, they become the victims of a galactic creature of unspeakable horror. Ah, oh, I do love a bit of unspeakable horror. Their desperate attempts to combat the alien and to escape from its loathsome presence make this a story and a motion picture that you can never imagine in your wildest dreams or nightmares. In space, no one can hear you scream. And of course, that's one thing that's so nice about the cover, that tagline. That's one of the best taglines ever. And Dan O'Bannon, I often forget that this was written by Dan O'Bannon, who went on to make The, the Return of the Living Dead, which is... Uh, one of the best horror comedies ever. Yeah, and we can see here as well that the movie came out in 1979 and this came out in 1982. VHS was an emerging format, very much so. There was a, an earlier VHS release of this in the UK in 1981 through um, a label called Magnetic. But still, there was still a two year gap between the movie coming out in the cinema and home video. Can you imagine that now? Sometimes it feels like there's a, a three month gap between the cinema and home video at, at most. A quick look at the tape. Much like the rest of the package, it's very simple. Nothing too flashy going on here. Beautiful. I don't know what this is about. Yafet Koto as Parker. What's that all about? But again, I have to just come back to that cover. I think it's powerful partly 
because it suggests something ominous. The whole thing is dark. There's a creepy smile I've only just noticed after 40 years. And an egg also, to get slightly pretentious about this, an egg also symbolizes something new, the birth, the dawn of something new and really horrible. And back in 1979, no one had seen things like an alien bursting out of someone's chest in a really graphic fashion. That was such a shock, a real talking point. And so, yeah, I think this symbolizes whether knowingly or not the dawn of a new type of horror. And that makes this all the more magical. So, does that 1982 VHS artwork look amazing or just ancient? I would love to hear your opinion in the comments down there. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video, and if you have, then don't forget, in space, no one can hear you subscribe. You know what I mean, eh? So this is something here that's always here.